welcome back uh, once again in our online classes today we will start our next lesson the name of the lesson is albert einstein at school the writer is patrick pringer now before uh, going to discuss the little summary of the lesson i want to tell you something about the chapter albert einstein was one of the greatest scientists he is known for his theory of relativity but during his school days he was considered a dull student he didn't like his school and the subjects taught there he considered it useless to study subjects other than those related to science means he was highly interested in the study of science instead of other subjects his history teacher was ever at longer hats with him only the mathematics teacher liked him albert became fed up with his school at last he devised a plan a plan to remain away from a school with the help of his friend yuri he managed to get a fake medical certificate showing that he was suffering from nervous breakdown a problem related to nerves at last the school authorities expelled him from the school now the detailed summary of the lesson with the help of which you will be able to understand the whole lesson and we will plan you can plan the answers related to this uh, lesson's questions let us start i send his three teacher asked him in what year the persian had defeated the french at waterloo a battle which was held at waterloo he respectfully replied that he didn't know mr baron the history teacher further asked him if he ever tried to learn einstein told him that he didn't see any points in learning dates one could always look them up in a book he said he didn't think learning facts was education here you can uh, learn that according to einstein there is uh, no education learning the facts means he thought it was not facts that matter but i according to einstein facts doesn't matter but ideas he just believe in logical education instead of other things mr baron eyes grew cold and dull means after listening the reply of mr uh, albert einstein mr baron the history teacher became angry he asked einstein to stay in for an extra period as a punishment mr baron asked einstein to stay in the school for extra time he called him a disgrace and told him to ask his father to take him away but albert knew that his father would ask him to stay until he had taken the diploma a formal certificate of qualifying the exams albert's father had so little money to spare that albert had to live in a room as one of the poorest quarters in munich quarters a government area to live munich is the name of the city he didn't mind the bad food lack of comfort and even the dirt and scare gandagi but he hated the slum violence inside his friend yuri told him that at least he had a room of his own albert replied that having a room was not all the people around so civilized culture he told yuri that he was living among civilized people at this yuri told him that this was not true one of the man in his locality was killed in a duel dwand jahan pe do logon ka jhagda hota hai aur usme ek insaan ko marna hota hai the one who killed him was upset because the authorities had told him not to fight any more duels in future he was also green panic over the fact that he had not a single scar mark on his face as a badge of honor yuri told him that if such boys could be students then why he could not be one albert's cousin elsa who came to munich she lived in berlin with her father had a business where sorry where her father had a business she told him she was sure he could learn and to pass the exams 
she knew lots of boys who were more stupid dull duffer than he was and they got through the exams they easily qualified their exams they didn't have to know anything only they were able to repeat it in the exams albert said that that was the whole trouble he was not good at learning things by heart albert said his cousin that i'm unable to learn the things by heart in speed of science he had interest in books of science and music his landlady called music a very and asked him to stop it but albert was highly interested in science and music in other subject he was not uh, he didn't have a little interest he told his friend yuri that it was absurd that he should go on like this in the end it would turn out that he had been wasting his father's money and everyone's time it would be better for all if he stopped them but he was afraid that his father would send him back and will ask yuri if he knew any family doctor he said he wanted some doctors to declare that he had a nervous breakdown and it was bad for him to go to school here albert wanted to take an excuse from the doctor that doctor must uh, give him prescription that i should go visit the school i should not uh, remain stay in the school due to the problem of nerves he told yuri to find a doctor who specialized in nerves the doctor would certainly help him as he had a real nervous breakdown yuri suggested to him the name of doctor i swear who had recently qualified as a doctor albert might be his first patient at the same time he warned him not to try to pull the holes over his eyes yuri here at the same time i told him that he should not try to be fool the doctors because he was a doctor albert spent the next day wondering what to tell the doctor next day albert was in tension how he should start uh, communicating with the doctor how he will be able to convince the doctor about his ailment when the time arrived for his appointment meeting he had worried over it so much that he really was quite nervous yuri had already given the doctor the history of albert's case albert said that that was the real trouble doctor uh, would tell him that nothing was wrong with him and he must go to school the doctor told albert that as a matter of fact he was pretty sure he was in nervous state about the uh, about that school then the doctor asked him this key smiling if he certified that he had a nervous breakdown and must stay away from school for a while what he would do albert said that he would go to italy where his parents were he would join an italian college he had learned all these maths they taught at the school and a bit more he would ask his mathematics teacher to give him some written opinion about his work dr well thought his stay in a school would not uh, do good to anyone and handed him over the certificate yuri advised him if the worst come to us he would come back and carry on studying for his diploma but albert assured him that he would never come back to that place he would take the certificate to the head teacher the next day yuri reminded him not to forget to get a reference in uh, writing form his mathematics teacher first Mr Koch willingly gave Albert the reference he wanted he was a glowing reference and Mr Koch made the point that Albert was ready immediately to enter a college or institute for the study of higher mathematics Albert was summoned called to the head teacher's room the head teacher told Albert to his surprise that his work had been terrible and he was not prepared to have him there any longer he wanted him to leave the school Einstein asked the head teacher if he was an expulsion. The head teacher replied that if he went on his own accord, the question wouldn't arise. Einstein asked him what crime he had committed. The head teacher told him he refused to learn and was in constant rebellion with Rohi Ona against the system. No serious work could be done while he was there. Albert felt medical certificate almost burning a hole in his pocket. 
He said that he was going to leave anyway. Without another word, holding his head high, he walked out. He left the school where he had spent five miserable years without turning his head to give a last look. He felt like seeing only Yuri before he left Munich. Felt like seeing means wanted to meet. Elsa was back in Berlin. When he left, Yuri bade him goodbye and this name good luck. That's all from uh, today's lecture. The remaining part and the uh, important word we'll discuss in the next lecture. Thank you and have a nice day.